you can shake your rider along with me. We're gonna go a little faster. Shimmy, 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 masada. Shimmy, 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 masada. before we show the Pura musical. I can't wait. Thank you for joining today. All right, those of you that have something to shake, you can shake along as we sing. do one more 
first song. This is a favorite of mine, but not everyone knows this one. This is a Karen Daniels song and it's called Stomp, Stomp, Stomp. So we're gonna act like we're going to the store. So you can kind of walk along with me. We're walking to the store. We're gonna go buy some cookies. When you go to the store to buy a cookie, most of the cookies are round, round, round. Can you show me round? But a circle in the shape of, oh sorry, but a cookie in the shape of a triangle. Everyone show me a triangle. Woo! Can almost never be found. We're gonna start from the beginning. Try that with me. When you go to the store to buy a cookie, most of the cookies are round, round, round. But a cookie in the shape of a triangle can almost never be found, except for we know what they are. Hum and Toshin, which have three sides. Strawberries are baked inside. And every time that we hear Heyman's name, we play this little game and we go stomp, stomp, stomp. Rush, rush, rush. I'm gonna eat that hum and tosh. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Rush, rush, rush. I'm gonna eat That was wonderful. Let's hear it for Amanda. Woo Welcome everyone to this Purim night. The Bethel Youth Department will start you off right. My name is Jody, your host for right now. I'm dressed as a zebra corn and not a cow. I first want to tell you of all that we do for babies through school age, middle and high schoolers too. Game nights and programs and learning galore, reach out to me if you want to learn more. You have a place at Bethel. We cater to the masses. Toddlers and preschool have enrichment classes with math, language, Hebrew, and songs. Elementary age kids keep their friendships strong. Shorashim is a class for kinders through first. Missing this class with Amanda would be the worst. We host game nights each month for third through eighth grade, where we socialize, laugh, but never throw shade. High school is a time where one can join USY. Teens learn leadership skills that will help them to thrive. Heschel Honor Society and meetups by grade give focus to the love of learning we hope never will fade. There's so much more we offer to the youth of Bethel. Call, text, or email me. I'm always happy to tell. I could talk about the youth department all night and all day, but they tell me I'm not the only one who has things to say. So, Esther's and Vashti's, Haman's and Mordechai's, grab your juice, wine, or if you prefer, vanilla chai's. Tonight, I invite you to a movie premiere. I hope it will make you clap and cheer. The script was developed from Olive Preschool, then adapted for screen using editing tools. The families involved did so with their own acting choices, with Olive Preschool and Shorashim showing off their singing voices. So sit back, relax, and eat home and tosh until you're full. I now present to you Purim 
the musical. Now the king was all alone. He realized he had made a bad choice in anger, and now he was feeling very sad. Advisor, how do I fix my problem? How do I make myself feel better? You sent away the queen, and now you are lonely. You must find a new queen, one who will dance with you at parties, and never tell you no. You are correct. I need a new queen. So all the girls of Shushan came to the castle to see if they could be the new queen. They took special care with their hair and makeup and put on their fanciest clothes in hopes of impressing the king. 
Finally, a Jewish girl named Hadassah came before the king. She was dressed more simply, but her natural beauty shone through. Her uncle Mordechai had warned her to hide her Jewishness, so she told the king her name was Esther. The king liked Esther very much. Not only was she beautiful, but she was smart and kind too. No way! That should have been us. Esther was surprised that she was chosen, but very happy to become the new queen. They had a big, beautiful wedding, and all the people of Shushan came to dance and sing. Mordechai overheard two royal guards planning to kill the king. This king is a silly king who doesn't take care of his people. We should get rid of him and get a new king instead. Oh no, that's terrible news. I must warn the king. Mordechai quickly sent a message to Queen Esther, who told the king and the two men were arrested. Mordechai had, has saved the king's life and his name was written down in the king's special book of records. But being his silly self, the king completely forgot about it. Being a king is a very big job, and so King Ahasuerus had lots of people to help him. The most important advisor, your grand vizier, was a man named Haman. Haman decided that he was very, very important. More important than all the people in the land of Shushan, except for maybe the king. He ordered all the people of Shushan to treat him like royalty, and so that they and said they should bow down to him. One day, Haman was walking through the streets of Shusha, expecting that everyone would bow down to him. Along came Queen Esther's uncle Mordecai, who refused to bow down. Mordecai, bow down to me, bow down to me. What? Bow down to me. No, I'm a Jew, I only bow down to God. Bow down to me and you'll be sorry. No, I will not bow down to you, Haman. Haman. Haman was insulted and very mad. He stomped away and made a plan to get rid of Mordecai and all the Jews. He went to the king. King, there are people in Shushan called Jews who will not follow your laws. We need to get rid of them so you can stay in charge. People who won't listen to my rules, that's not good at all. Do whatever you want, Haman. Uncle Mordecai was upset. He had done the right thing by refusing to bow down, but now all the Jews were in danger because of Haman's plan. He realized that only Queen Esther could help. Bye, Uncle Mordecai. Bye, Uncle Mordecai. What did he see What did he hear as he heard more and more? Haman was planning some very bad news. Haman was planning to hurt all the Jews. Oi, oi, Uncle Mordecai. Oi, oi, Uncle Mordecai. Oi, oi, Uncle Mordecai. Oi, oi, Uncle Mordecai. Esther, Esther, you have to help. But why? 
Uncle Lord High. Haman made a rule that all the Jews have to leave unless they bow down to him. We are Jewish and we only bow down to God. What should I do? I'm only the queen. Only the king can change that rule. Tell the king that you are Jewish and he will want to change that law too. I only go to the king unless he asks for me. I can do this. I must be brave. First, they need to get everybody's help. For three days and three nights, Esther, Mordechai, and all the Jews in Shushan did not eat or drink anything. Everyone prayed for help, and Esther prayed for courage. It is time. My king loves to eat, drink, and go to party. I will invite him and Taman to go to a fancy dinner. And I will tell him then. I hope God is on my side. Queen Esther invited King Ahasuerus and Haman to a special dinner party just for them. And the king loved Esther and was so happy to attend. Haman thought he was even more important because he was invited. He told his wife how excited he was. Woohoo! There is my wife! I'm so excited! I'm going to a special dinner party with just the king and the queen. Everything is going my way, except for that annoying man, Mordechai. I'm so happy for you, husband. Ask the king for special permission to get rid of Mordechai. Then all will be wonderful for you. What an excellent idea. I'm so lucky to have you as my wife. We are a great team, and together we'll make you the most powerful man in Shushan. That night, King Ahasuerus could not sleep, so he grabbed his big book of records and started to read. When he read of how Mordecai had saved his life, he was absolutely shocked to hear how he was not rewarded. He went to bed wondering how he could make up for it. The next morning, Haman came to ask if he could get rid of Mordecai. Oh, Haman, perfect. I've been meaning to talk to you. How do you think I should reward a man who has done so much for me? Haman thought the king was talking about him. You should dress him in your royal robes, parade him through the street on your favorite horses, and people will cheer for him. Wonderful idea. Now go grab Mordecai, dress him in the best robes out there, and do just that. Haman was so mad, but he still had to do it. The night of the special party for the king and Haman have arrived. Queen Esther served all of the king's favorite foods and drinks. She made sure her guests were happy and comfortable. She was also getting ready to share her news with the king. My darling Queen Esther, this has been a fabulous feast. What is the occasion for this marvelous meal? What can I give you to show my thanks? I'm so glad you're happy, my king. Truthfully, the only thing I want is to be safe and for my people to be safe. Someone has planned to get rid of all the Jews, and I'm a Jew. King Ahasuerus was shocked and very upset. What? Who would do such a terrible thing? The someone is sitting right next to you, your majesty. It's Haman. Haman? <laughs> that, that is a terrible lie. We will get rid of you instead. Guards, take him away! The queen and all the Jews were safe under my protection. Advisors, the king needs a new grand vizier. Who would you recommend? Your highness, Mordechai has saved your life and shown that he is wise and kind. He would be a great grand vizier. Mordechai gladly accepted to be the king's special advisor. The first thing he did was tear up the law, getting rid of the Jews. From that day on, the Jews were treated the same as everyone else in Shushan. They all danced and sang. And to this day, every year, we have a happy, noisy celebration to remember how Queen Esther saved the Jews. <laughs>
Take a step back, Randy. There we go. One day, the king sent a guard to the queen and ordered her to dance at yet another party. What can I give you to show my thanks? I'm so glad you're happy, my king. Shoot. That's terrible news. I must go tell the... I must warn the king. Along came Queen Esther's uncle, Mordechai, who refused to bow down. Where's Mordechai? Mordechai, bow down to me! Bow down to me! What? Bow down to me! No, I am a Jew. I only bow down to God. Bow down to me or you'll be sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yes. Akiva. Okay, the king sent a guard to the queen and ordered her to dance at yet another party. Guard. Go get the queen. I think we'll do the second one. <laughs> Fine with me. I had enough of being queen anyways. And with that, Queen Vashti took off her crown. Wow. Very nice job. Thank you so much to everyone who was involved in this project. I'm so impressed with the creativity and the skills that were shown here tonight. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Jody Maramey, the Director of Youth Engagement, Enrichment, and Informal Education here at Bethel. I want to quickly just let you know of a few things, great programs and events that we have coming up um, through the youth department. Um, this one will not be in rhyme if you were here before my, the, the movie. One is we're starting a new ECFG, ECJFE class, Early Childhood Jewish Family Education with Amanda Awind. It's geared toward first-time parents of babies uh, 0 to 15 months old. I know for me it was a lifesaver when I was a new parent. We are also doing mini minion. There are Shabbat services, trivia games for kids all the way up to fourth grade. And it's the first Saturday of the month always. Our next one is Saturday, March 6th at 10 a.m. Lots of fun. We have a third through fifth grade program coming up. Uh, the next one is Sunday, March 7th at 1 p.m. And we have a sixth through eighth grade program. That next one coming up is Thursday, March 11th at seven. We do two, we try to do two times a month for each grade level. Um, there's noise going on downstairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have our ninth through 12th grade programs every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Before that, we have our grade level meetups at six o'clock. The next one coming up this Tuesday is the ninth grade meetup. It's a mental health circle. Um, that will be Thursday, or Tuesday, March 2nd at 6. All of this information will be in the next uh, Youth Department newsletter or reach out to me. Uh, I also want you to keep an eye out for information on Pesach. We have lots of fun things coming up, including a family bingo night on Tuesday, March 30th. So mm -hmm. get ready for that. 
Um, again, reach out to me, jmaramey at bethelsynagogue.org. Now I want to play a quick little game. I want to see who's here tonight, see what your favorite things to do for Purim are. So I'm going to ask you to hold up some fingers to answer the questions that I am going to ask you. My first question I have for you is, who is your favorite Purim character? If it is Vashti, hold up one finger. Mordecai, two fingers. Esther, three fingers. And Haman, four fingers. Let's see who your favorite are. I see some threes and twos and ones. Nice, I knew I would get some fours in there. All right, this one's a little more controversial. What is your favorite Homentashen flavor? Hmm. Poppy seed is number one. Apricot, number two. Nutella, three. S'mores, four. Peanut butter chocolate, that's mine, five. If it's a pizza or another, sa another savory, I call them a non toshin that would be six. If it's fruity, seven. And if it is a prune one, eight. Show me what your favorite ones are or put it in the chat, that's fine too. I told you mine. I wouldn't be a good game show host, I'm giving my own opinions. Oh well. Now it's time for the favorite type of costume. Is it the classic Shushan Purim costume, Queen Esther, Queen Vashti, Mordecai, Haman? Is it a homemade costume? One that you like to make yourself? That would be two. Is it a Disney movie, TV show type costume? That would be three. Is it a pun like a N95 masked superhero? Is it a non-costume? That's number five, something like Today I'm dressed as a busy mom. Or is it an old Halloween costume that you have just laying around? I see lots of different ones, nice. Or is it something I guess made up, like number seven, like a zebra corn, if you can see it, there we go. I like making things up, obviously. All right, and the last one that I have for you tonight. What, what is your favorite Purim mitzvah? Is it? listening to the Megillah, which we're about to do. Is it giving gifts like Mishloach Manot to friends and neighbors? Is it eating the special meal? I like eating. Or is it for giving sadaka? I know right now that this might be a new favorite forum for me. Thank you all for joining us tonight. The youth department welcomes all of you as I- Thanks. As I like to say, we have programs for youth from newborn to great grandparents or even great great grandparents. So keep an eye out and see all the great things for the from that are coming from the youth department. I'm going to pass my, the baton on over to Cantor Abrams. We're just going to listen to some music till the next thing and things that we know. I'm gonna tell you a story now, some people say it's all true, about the ancient land of Persia, and one crazy Jew. Well, we won't miss a word, won't drop a note, so just sit back and listen, will ya? We'll do the whole Megillah. Well, there's a king and a queen, if you know what I mean, but she's out in chapter one. But none were so bad, or their stories so sad, 
as the ballad of these two. Big Todd and Terrish, they were big, they were eunuch, always together, and they didn't have much to say. Big Todd and Terrish, they were eunuchs, and they were angry, tired of guarding and of looking the other way. One day they hatched a plot to do a terrible evil thing. They decided to take a shot at killing their beloved king. Oh, Big Ton, hey Big Ton, what were you thinking of? Were you lashing out at someone cause you never could have true love? Oh, Teresh, hey Teresh, don't you think it's kind of gauche to talk out loud with Big Ton about killing a Bay Roche? Big Ton and Teresh, they were smart, but they were sloppy, never suspected. They were heard by Mordecai. He blew. Ah! Well, Butch had Sundance. Bonnie had Clyde. Let's do it again. Frankie had Johnny too. <laughs> but none were so bad, or their stories so We'll try sad again. As the ballad of these two. Big Ton and Terrish, they were big, they were eunuchs. All kids together, didn't have much to say. Big Ton and Terrish, they were eunuchs, and they were angry, tired of guarding and of looking the other way. One day they hatched a plot to do a terrible evil thing. They decided to take a shot at killing their beloved king. Oh, Big Ton, hey Big Ton, what were you thinking of? Were you lashing out at someone cause you never could have true love? Oh, Teresh, hey Teresh, don't you think it's kinda gauche? Talk out loud with Big Ton about killing a Kashbe Roche. Big Ton and Terrish, they were smart, but they were sloppy. Never suspected, they were heard by Mordecai. He blew the whistle, told the Queen, and they were busted. Big Ton and Terrish, they kissed their lives goodbye. The two of them shared such good times, it's tragic that they died. But the thing they shared that did them in was a taste for homicide. Oh, Big Ton, hey Big Ton, what were you thinking of? Were you lashing out at someone cause you never could have true love? Oh, Teresh, hey Teresh, don't you think it's kinda gauche? Talk out loud with Big Ton about killing a Kashbe Roach. Oh, Big Ton, hey Big Ton, what were you thinking of? Were you lashing out at someone cause you never could have true love? Oh, Terrish, hey Terrish, don't you think it's kind of gauche to talk out loud with Big Ton about killing a Kashbe Roach? Listen up now. This year's the real Purim story. Haman was a mean old brave back in the old way. He thought he'd kill the Jews cause he thought he was the best. But he on the guy who would wreck him by the name of Mordecai. Mordecai challenged him to a duel. They met on the streets of town. Everybody watched on that fateful day when Mordecai in the land. 
should bow down to me. You, in the front, you. Mm -hmm. You want to know why? First of all, I'd like to state that I am really, really great. Plus, I enjoy this bowing stuff. And isn't that reason enough? So let me be direct. You've got to show some respect. Go ahead and genuflect. Don't be shy, cause if you don't bow down, you'll die. Is this something new to you? Am I getting through to you? Oh, what I could do to you. from our old CD, Vashti was right. And don't worry, we'll be singing that one tonight. So all you out there who are just like, wait, I want that. Don't worry, it's a coming. All right, Purim Sameach Kulam. Thank you so much to Cantor Abrams for reminding us of some of our previous Purim spiels, amazingly written by John and Debbie Ornstein and company. Thank you to Jody for the wonderful production. Our plan is, Haverim, to Davin Mariv. We'll uh, quickly recite the uh, Mariv evening service. And then, of course, it wouldn't be Purim without a little ditty that Cantor Abrams wrote for us as an introduction. And then we'll hand it over to our Megillah readers and Purim spielers. So if you have a Sidor handy, we invite you to pull it out. And sometimes when you do Mariv on. Can we, uh, Can we boo yet? Boo yet? I want to boo. Can we boo? Um. Well, only if I say a special word. Like Mariv? Well, you don't want to boo Mariv, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I said, come on. Boo! All right, we're going to have to practice this uh, booing or this virtual booing. So we'll work on that uh, during our... Uh, during our Megillah reading. But for now, if you hear a tune that might not be quite as familiar to uh, Mari, that's okay too. So page 137. Adonai 
Individually using the words of our hearts, the words of our tradition are both. I can't hear it. I can't hear. What's all the name of the show? Al Hanisim, the Alla Purkan, the Al Haguro, the Alla Chuo, the Alla Mechamocha, Sita Labotenu, by Yami Mahem Bazman has a Bime Mordechai be Esther Bushushan Habi Rakasham Dalahem Haman or Shal the Kirko. Kalot et Mashavis. Betel Oto et Banav al Haet, they all Kulan, they all Kulan. Yitbarach me. Roman Yitbarach. Yit Ramam Shim Hamakinu Tami Leolam Baeb. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, say Shalom Bim Ramav. Who has the Shalom Malenu? They are called Yisrael. They are called Yoshe Tevel. Vimru, Vimru. Ah, Amen. Page 1049. It got out of the it got us. The May Rabba. Amen. The Amadi Brachi Rute. The Amlik Malchute. Malchute Bechayachon. Uvi Omechon. Uvechaye de Chobe de Israel, Bagala Uviz Mankari, Vimru, Vimru, Amen. It far off, be it far, be it far, be it from Amber, it has to say, It a dar, be it a le, it a lost made a good shop, Rifu, they lie, Lamin Kobihata, Bishirata. Yusufata v'nechemata damiram be'alma v'imru. Amen. Can't raven should be in the choir? Now that's why you're hiring a cantor. Take the bus to the town of Bethlehem to close Israel. Cut him along the way by v'imru. Amen. Yeah. He's from a rabbi mishmai v'chayim. Alin v'kol Israel v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom v'ramav. Who yas shalom? Shalom v'imru. V'imru. Amen. Aleinu. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Shalom.
Tonight we remember Sarah Laser and Tom Berenbaum who during this past week went to their eternal rest. We note the Shloshim for Leslie Persitzer, Eda Lehman, Norman Corvosha, Buddy Shapiro, Stephen Bernstein, Elliot Miller, Lewis Smith, Joan Smith, and Robert Pradas. Tonight, as we enter the 14th of Adar on this forum, we remember Mordechai Amar, Tova Gertrude Appleman, Zelda Beto, Abraham Albert Burns, Razel Rose Charon, Eliyahu Alex Epstein, Yaakov Jack Glicksman, Louis Goldrich, Tinny Gordon, Nehamit Natalie, Nap, Natalie Horowitz, Esther Kalinsky, Zarah Gerald Mednick, Leba Sheldon Pomish, Yechiel Herbert Schwartz, Leva Lewis Weisberg, and Shale Walensky. Are there other names to include or names I mispronounced? If so, we invite you to unmute and share with us. To you, Nishmatam Tarapa Tsarachayim, may their souls be bound up in the bond of life as we invite those reciting Kaddish to join with me, page 151. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me raba ve'alma divrach hirute ve'amlich malchute v'chayechon v'amechon v'chayei dechol beit Yisrael v'agalal v'zman kari v'imru amen. Ve'eish me raba mehorach le'alam o'me'amai yitbarach. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei dekudsha b'richu le'ela minko birchata v'shirata Tushpachata, Venechamata, Damiran Bealma, Vimru Amen. Yeh Shlama Rabba Min Shemai Vechaim, Alinu Velko Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Ramav, Hu Yase Shalom, Alinu Velko Yisrael, Vimru Amen. We welcome one and all tonight to Bethel Cyber Shul. Purim in our own Zoom room will definitely be cool. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. And nash some home in Tashan. We ask you stay on mute tonight, even when you're booing. Wave your hands, make noise at home, and we'll know what you're doing. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. And nasham home in Tashin. Use the chat for making noise if you want more action. Or the button on the bottom of the Zoom bar called reactions. Oh, today will Mary Mary be. Oh, today will Mary Mary be. Oh, today will Mary Mary be. And our some home in Tashin. On your screen will be the words for the whole Megilla. Push it over or change to gallery view. If reading doesn't thrill ya, oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. And nosh some home in Tashan. Two more things to tell you still, and then we will be done. 
change your backgrounds as you wish. Be silly, let's have some fun. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. And nasham fomentashin. After chapter five tonight, Liz will find you in your square for a spotlight costume zoom parade. Wear a costume and you're there. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. And nosh some home and toshin. Phew, we're finally done with this. Time to start this great bonanza. Again, we welcome all of you to Bethel's Purim Extravaganza. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. And nosh some home in Tashin. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. And nosh some home in Let's give a round of applause. Michiel Kapayim to Cantor Abram for writing the best song of the year. Aha, oh, massively amazing. Yes. Well, Bruchim Abayim, welcome all of you. Chag Parim Sameach. Thank you for coming this evening. We're really, really excited because not only will we have our Megillah reading, but also in between each of the Brachim, we'll have special activities, but most important, important, we have special comedy from two amazing individuals, which some of you see lurking about on your screens. One is Liz Glazer and the other is Mike Kaplan. Now, Liz Glazer is currently a stand-up comedian, writer, and actor. But before that, Liz was a tenured law professor, a job she was very, very funny at. Liz recently won first place in the Boston Comedy Festival. She's also been a part of the Seattle International Comedy Competition and will be part of the upcoming HBO Women in Comedy Festival, assuming it happens. During the pandemic, Liz has been reading old journal entries, getting COVID tests, and doing stand-up, yelling into her laptop on Zoom, like, hopefully she won't yell too loudly at us tonight, but she'll be joining us in all of the laughter. And Mike Kaplan, M-Y-Q, is actually really named Mike Kaplan, and M-I-K-E. He has been seen on The Tonight Show, on Conan, The Late Show with David Letterman, Late Night with Seth Meyers, and his own half-hour Comedy Central's Present special, his own one-hour special on Amazon, Small, Dork, Handsome. He has been a finalist on Last Comic Standing and recently appeared on America's Got Talent. His album, Vegan Mind Meld, was one of iTunes' top 10 comedy albums of the year, and his newest album, AKA, debuted at number one. The New York Times called it invigoratingly funny and included it among its five coronavirus best new comedy specials to remind you of the old normal. And here we are in the new weird, which is our special first ever pandemic edition of our Purim Spiel. So we're grateful for Liz and Mike both to add all of the Misha Nichnas Adar Marbim Besimcha happiness for us this evening. And I believe I'm turning it back over to Liz. Which Liz? Liz Glazer, not Liz Robert. Okay. Because you said turning it back. Um, so yeah. yeah, that in the email chain, there was a lot of like, which Liz do we mean? Hi, I'm Liz. I'm this Liz, not that Liz. Um, this is so fun to be here. And I'm going to be, I guess, kind of emceeing the McGillar reading. I, I, I just want to give you a little bit of a sense. I'll do a short introduction with some comedy. Um, but it's really lovely to be here on Zoom for Purim with you all. Um, I grew up. I went to Orthodox Jewish day school. I went to a conservative shul or temple. I feel like depending on how from you are, you either say you're from or you don't. You say temple or shul. My wife is a reform rabbi. She goes to synagogue. That's like a good, nice word as opposed to like the more religious you are, I feel like it's like you say shul, right? You don't say grace after meals, you bench. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit of the yelling, but um, I feel like on Purim, there's like so many pronunciation issues like Haman, Haman, right? It's Achashverosh or Achashverosh, right? The Purim Seuda, Purim Suda, um, you know, and I, I, I just love playing with pronunciation. I do have a question. I'm so happy I'm here with you from New Jersey. 
This is my palace in the background, my throne, my wife's. Um, but in any event, I, I do a lot of comedy over Zoom, but I do have this one question and it's about the pronunciation of Zoom. Do we know for certain that it's pronounced Zoom and not Zoom? Just a question, okay? Just putting it out there. I know it's controversial, but I'm just asking because I feel like you know, we're in quarantine, we're, we're isolated from each other, we're not seeing each other face to face for the most part. I, for one, have never seen a commercial for this website that I find myself on all day long and all night long. And I just wonder, like, maybe it's like, you know, the book that you read, or maybe even a Megillah that you read over, you know, by yourself over summer vacation, whatever it is, and you're saying the words in your head one way, and you think you're saying it right. And then it's not until you get to school, and you have to pretend you were saying it right the whole time, even though you weren't, you know, like exactly right. Her name's not Hermione. She didn't serve Ors du Vers at the Chanaka party, right? She crotcheted a blanket. That's what it said. They reviewed the dust her. She fixed a cupboard. I think we're going to get out of quarantine after this pandemic. We're going to find out that it's Zoom. You heard it here first, just a theory. Um, we are going to get tonight started. I'm so excited. I'll be popping in and then I'll I'll hand it over to, to Mike Kaplan, who's also amazing and a dear, dear friend of mine and also a Jew. Um, and so we're both going to have, we're all going to have a lot of fun tonight on this Zoom, reading the Megillah or the Megillah, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so right now, uh, I'm just going to look at my notes because I do not know all of you by heart. Um, although I want to have you in my heart by the end of the night. And so it's truly a pleasure to be here. Um, but to, to kick us off, we have the blessings, the brachot, the brachas, however you want to say it, by the amazing Sid Konikoff. and okay so before i get started though i want to give a, a shout out and thank you to jerry ribnick who graciously loaned me this beautiful megillah so that i'll be able to read from the megillah this this evening Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'Mitzvotahav V'Tzivanu Al Mikra Megillah Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sha'asa Nisim Lavoteinu Bayamim Haheim Bazman Hazel. Amen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vekiyamanu Vehegianu Lazman Hazel. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pull this down so we can see. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick transition. Um, and I have my natural hair for this. But we are going to have Chaya Solman and Mike Blairt. Uh, if I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. So you guys are on deck. Just please be ready. Um, and we're going to read the Megillah, the Megillah. Are you guys ready? Chaya and Mike? Well, I'm, I'm going to be reading from the Chaf here. Is that right? Yes, your parent we shown. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Can you see can you see where I Yeah. Okay. Vayehi bime akashvero hoch. Uhu akashvero hoch. Hamolek mehu duviad kuhush. Sheva Vesrimumeyaha Medinaham Vayamim Hahem. Kishevet Hamelech Achashverosh Al Kisei Malchutoho Asher Beshushan Habiraham Vishnat Shalosh Lemalkoho Asan Mishteha Lechol Saraham Ve'avadahav Fehel Paraha Sumadai Apartimim 
וסרי המדינות לפניו בהר אותו, את עושר כבוד מלכותו, ואת יקר תפארת גדולתו, ימים רבים שמונים ומאת יום, ובמלאות הימים האלה עשה המלך לכל העם הנמצאים, ושושן הבירה למגדול ויד קטן, משתי שבעת ימים, בחצר גינת ביתן המלך, פור כרפס ותכלת, אחוז וחבלי בוץ וארגמן, על גלילי כסף ועמודי שש, מיטות זהב וכסף, על רצפת ועד ושש ודר וסחורת. מתוך צהב וכסף על רצפת בהת ושש ודר וסחורת והשקות בכלי זהב וכלים מכלים שונים ואין מלכות רב כיד המלך ואשתיה כדת אין אונס כי כן יסד המלך על כל רב ותוהול לעשות כרצון איש ואיש. גם ושתי המלכה אססה משתי נשים, בייס המלכוס אשר למלך אחשוורוש. ביום השביעי כתוב לב המלך ביין אמר למומן. ביסטה חרבונה, ביקתה ואבקתה, זיתר וחרקה, שבעת הסריסים המשרתים את פני המלך אחשוי ראש. <coughs> להביא את ושתי המלכה לפני המלך בכתר מלכות, להראות העמים והשרים את יפיהם, כי טובת מראה היא, ותמאן המלכה ושתי, לבוא בדבר המלך, אשר ביד הסריסים, ויקצוף המלך מאוד, וחמתו ברבו, ויאמר המלך לחכמים יודי העיתים, כי כן דבר המלך לפני כל יודעי דעת ודין, וקרוב אליו קרשנה שיתר אדמתה תרשיש מרס מרסנה ממוכן, שהיווה צרי פרס ומדי, רואה פני המלך היושבים ראשונה במלכות, כדת מה לעשות במלכה ושתי. על אשר לא אססה את מאמר המלך אחשוי ראש ביד הסריסים. ויאמר מוכן לפני המלך והשרים, לא על המלך לבדו אבטה ושתי המלכה, כי על כל השרים ועל כל העמים, אשר בכל מדינות המלך אחשוי ראש, כי יצא דבר המלכה על כל הנשים, להב זאת בעליהם בעיניהם. ואמרם המלך אחשוורוש, אמר להביא את ושתי המלכה לפניו ולא בעם. והיום הזה תאמרנה. שרות פרס ומדי אשר שמעו את דבר המלכה לכל שרי המלך וכדאי ביזיון וקצב אם על המלך טוב יצא דבר מלכות מלפניו יקטא ודתא פרס ומדי ולא יעבור אשר לא תבוא ושתי לפני המלך אחשוורוש 
ומלכותו ייתן המלך לרותה הטובה ממנה. ונשמע פתגם המלך אשר יעשה בכל מלכותו כי רבה היא וכל הנשים יתנו יקר לבעליהם למי גדול ועד קטן וייטב הדבר בעיני המלך והשרים ויעש המלך כדבר ממוכן וישלח ספרים אל כל מדינות המלך אל מדינה ומדינה ככתבה, ואל עם ועם כלשונו, להיות כל איש סוהרר בביתו, ומדבר כלשון עמו. Great job, Sid. Um, that was awesome and such a special uh, Igeret Hazot that you used to, to read the Megillah, the Megillah on, um, that was really, really special. Thank you so much. Yesher um, Koach. Uh, this, this parak to me, uh, as, as was said in my introduction, I, I used to be a lawyer. Um, I was a law professor. That's my background to comedy. And for that matter, it's the typical route to stand up comedy. I'm sure you guys know this or have heard this, but like, generally speaking, if you want to be a stand up comedian, you go to law school for three years, then you practice for two years, then teach for nine years, then give it all up and do stand up comedy in front of a virtual background that's hiding the bathroom with the cat litter, yelling into your laptop from home. This is living the dream. Sometimes people ask me, they're like, why did you, why did you go to law school? And I'm like, I'm gonna tell a joke about it in 14 years. I'm a planner. Um, but I, I wonder, like, I feel like I went to law school because my parents would say, all the time they were like nobody can take your education away from you and i'm like does anyone want it you know and uh i but it it, it is you know it, that's that's my background and like honestly when i when i used to be a lawyer you know through my parents people would always send me people you know oh will you talk to this one he wants to go to law school she's thinking of joining this and that firm and i would of course do it you know i would take those phone calls now people are like you know, this one wants to be a stand-up comedian. Can you call them? And so I do, and I'm like, go to law school. That's the advice. So um, anyway, uh, but I, I do, I'm not still a lawyer. My mom would like you to know that I am still licensed to practice, but I do not practice that license at all, haven't for a long, long time. But I feel like there's some parts of being a lawyer that like never leave you. First of all, I do talk- oh, Wait a minute, let me, let me get off. Yes, great. Um, I love when that happens in Zoom. It's my favorite. And like, if it's somebody on the phone with customer service, better yet. That's that's like my meditative noises gets me to sleep. But anyway, um, but I, I am still a lawyer. I, I don't think that leaves you. Like whenever people get canceled, you hear about this, like people get canceled for a tweet, you know, that they might've said something 12 years ago, somebody digs it up. I can never understand that as a lawyer because I'm like, as a lawyer, even as a former lawyer, as an anxious person, I don't think I've ever said anything above a whisper that I have not imagined being held up in literal court. So the idea that you would just write something on the internet, it's inconceivable to me. Um, but as a former lawyer, people think that I, that I care about certain things that I don't. I happen to love Perak Aleph of the Megillah because there's edicts, they make no sense. It's like Vashti does something, everybody, every man goes home and he's like, Vashti did a thing, now I'm right forever. And by the way, if you didn't understand the language that I just told you in, it's because now I speak my own language and the, de the decree actually says that I'm right. So I'm right and you're wrong and that's the law, is basically how we end Perak Aleph. And that's the kind of law that I used to teach. So with that, we're gonna transition over to Perak Bet, chapter two, and now, They've been warming up. Sorry again, Sid. I did not mean to step there. Um, but we do have Chaya Solman and Mike Blairt reading Perak 2, Perak Bet. Um, uh, the first part Chaya is going to read and the second part Mike, Mike is going to read. But I believe the transition is seamless. So take it away, Chaya. <laughs> Bye. 
by Amruna Are Hamalech, Masha Tav, by Yvak Shula Malach, and Aropa Tulo, Tobat Mara, by Yvkade Hamalech Pekudim, by Gomedi Rot Malachuto, by Yvkade Kona Araba Tula, Tula, Tobat Mara, I'll be Hanashim, 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 Ishi Udi Hayab Shushan Habira, Ushmo Mordechai, Ben Yair, Ben Shimi, Ben Kish Ishimini. Ishi Udi Hayab Shushan Habira, Ushmo Mordechai, Ben Yair, Ben Shimi, Ben Kish Ishamini, Asher Asher Hagla, Mayor Shalaim. Im Hogla Asher Hogla Hogla Ta Im Yehunya Melech Yehuda Asher Hog Asher Hogla Nebuchadnezzar Melech Beho Bayehi Omein at Hadasa He has their Beitodo Ki Ainla Ainla Ava Ain Bahana Ara Yafito Ar U Vitovat Mar El Uvmot avi, uvmot av, uvmot avi, mardechai, lo lavat, vayehi, vihish madavar ha malech vidato, uvki kavet, nerod rabot, al shishan habira, al yad hegai, vitila kach ester, et bait ha malech, al yad hegai, shomer hanashim, vitita hana. Lo higida ester et et amava et molat molata ki mordechai tiva elaha shela tagid uve choyam ve yam mordechai mit halech lifene chaser bet anashim le daad et shalom ester umaya asefa. That's the seamless part. Great job, Chaya. I think we're just waiting for Mike. Mike Blaird. There we go. Now it's on mute, off mute. Who hagi ha tor na arava na haraha labo el hamelech achesh berosh mikeh tayod laha. Kedat Hanashim, Shinemasar Kodesh Ki, Kim Yimu, Yamemru Kehen, Shisha Kodashim, Basham and Hamor, Vishisha Kodashim, Basham Baba Samihim, Uftamoke, Hanashim, Uvaze, Hana Araba El Hamelek, Eh, Kala Sheher, Tomahar, Yinatenla, Lavo, Imah, Bebet Hanashim, I bet Hamelek, Baerev. He ba uva boho ker he shava el bait hanashim sheni he el yad shashka siris hamelech shomer hapilak shim lotiv od el hamelech kim kafeitz ba hamelech minikra avishem uva giha tor. Ufagi ufagi ator Esther baravika Ufagi ator Esther bar Avikai odod Mordechai Asher lakach Asher lakach Asher lakach la Asher lakach lo lavat lavo el hamelech lo vikshad davar ki imer Asher yomar hegai shiri samelech shomer hanashim. But he Esther no said kein be'enei koro eha. 
Vati la kachaste her el hamela el hamela kachas ve rosh el beit machuto vechorosh aisirihu chorosh tevet vishnat shevel machuto vayehav hamela kereste her mikol hanashim vati sachin vachesed lefanav mikol habtulo. Vayasem ketcher mochut berosha, vayam liche hatachat vashti, vayas hamelak mishtegado, the chosarav avda. Uhi kavets betulo cheni, rumorachai yoshe bishar hamelak. Ain a stair, Moget up a lot of talk, Yenamach, a share, Siva Allah Mordechai, Yet Mahamar Mordechai, Esterasa, Kasher, Hayatab Yom Naha, O Ito, Bayamim Haim, Umordechai, Yushe Bishar Hamelech, Katsahaf, Big Tan, Vateresh, Janesari Se Hamelech, Mishomre Hasahaf. Vivakshu lishloach yahad vamelech achash veirosh vayivada hadavar lemordechai vayaged liaster hamakaha vatom eraster lemelech v'shem mordechai vayivukash hadavar yivimatzeh vayutulushnehem malehitz vayikatev v'sefer divrei hayamim. If they have Yasher Koach, Mike, and Chaya, that was amazing. Um, this is one of my wigs, just call it out. Um, no, it's my natural hair. Anyway, um, I love this parak also. I love every parak. That's just a spoiler. Um, and it's just a question of why. Here, we are brought into the world of Ahasuerus's journals. And I really relate to that for two reasons. Number one, I really do enjoy my own writing. It's a bit disgusting. Like if you want me to see an email, I would say find a way to put it in my sent mail folder because that one is the only one that I check reliably. Do you guys ever do this? You send an email and it's just like, you know what? That was a good email, right? I think I'm just going to reread this email over and over and over again. I don't think I have to do anything all day, right? Somehow use the word terrific three times, signed it love, it came off naturally, just great. I mean, honestly, people who throw away their emails, you, you know, the email deleters, you probably are those people. So like, you know, want to, to proselytize to everybody, you should delete your emails. I love all of my emails, all 127,944 of my emails, I absolutely love. So I relate to Ahasuerus in this particular way. I know it's, you know, anachronistic, he didn't email, but it's all the same, okay? Because the thing is, sometimes you need your old emails just like he needed his Sefer Divrei Hayamim, his journal. Because in your emails, like, I, I get it, you want to throw out, you know, your shirts, right? Your wigs, whatever. You can throw them out, but it's the new year-ish, and I get it. I get the Marie Kondo and all that, because the thing is you cannot control F your pants. You can't do it, but you can search through your email. So when it comes time for your high school friend's second daughter to become bat mitzvah and your group, your high school group needs to know her Hebrew name to engrave on the group gift for the silver bracelet that we're going to give her for the bat mitzvah, who has the 2008 Simchat Bat and knows that it's Nechama Malka? Possibly the least devout in the group, not even kosher and not just out or at home, but I've got those data and I love it and I get that that Ahasuerus is the same way. The other thing is we talk here about there's a lot of late nights in the Megillah okay we can agree on that and I don't know about you guys but during this pandemic pandemic I cannot sleep okay there I said it I cannot sleep I don't know if any of you guys are with me but it's it's really a huge problem Heidi McCalla you get it okay so Heidi and I and Ahasuerus were up all night and it's really a lot. And like, I've tried everything during this pandemic to go to sleep. I've tried Benadryl, I've tried melatonin. Every night I go to bed dreaming of literal anesthesia. How many melatonin equal anesthesia? Who knows? And uh, no, honestly, I had the pleasure, okay? I had to have a procedure and I got local anesthesia, passed out unconscious. Wasn't supposed to happen, it happened, okay? 
And after I, I come to, and I'm looking at the doctor and the nurse on top of me, my first thought was, you had to wake me? That was the best nap I had since March of 2020. You know, I'm going to get a colonoscopy next week. Maybe give blood. We'll see if I pass out. But anyway, I, I listen to meditations. Do you guys do this ever? Like, the apps or, you know, you could get them for free on uh, YouTube or whatever. Heidi, maybe try it. I mean, it could work. Okay. But the thing is with these meditations these days, okay, during the pandemic, they're gaslighting us because I'll listen to the meditation. The meditation is like, everything's fine. You can relax. Nothing's wrong. I'm like, excuse me, when exactly was this meditation recorded? Like, I need a meditation that's recorded now, maybe a couple years in the future when we're well beyond all this. Someone who's like, hey, I'm out here, it's 2023. It all works out fine, you can go to sleep. Also, it's pronounced Zoom, you were right. And you're the spokesperson for Zoom. So just manifesting my life over here. Anyway, let's get on with the Megillah. Who's ready for the Megillah? You're all on mute, let's pretend you're all cheering. It's on Zoom. Zoom, by the way, it's like, who's performing for who, right? I mean, it's like, I, I get that you're happy. You don't have to prove it to me. Okay, so next up, I'm so excited. I love her voice. We all do. Please give it up for the amazing cantor, Audrey Abrams. Woo! All right. <laughs> Kashmerosh <laughs> Lehavi, 
Vayasar HaMelech et Tabato me aliado Vayitna Lehamayan Ben Andata Hagagit so rare Hayahudi so rare Hayahudi Vayomer HaMelech Lehamayan a kestef na tuhun lahak beham lasat po katov binaka vayikre u sofre hamelech bachor shabishon bishlosha asar yom bo vikatev kechol shetziva. Ella Hashtar Peneha Melech, Viala Bachot, Asher, Al Medina Medina, Vial Sadeamva, Medina Medina Kirtava, Viam Viam Kirshano, Vishem, Melchash Virosh Nirtav, Venirta Hambita Bata Melech, Venish Lach Sephardim, Viad El comedy note, Hamelech, Lash me, the Harog Labade, Ecola Yehudim, Minarvi at Zakain, Taf Venashim, Beyom Mechad, Bishosha, Asar, Le Horish name Asar, who Horish Adar, Ushla Laham Lavos, Pachegen, Akta, the Hinat and Dot. Bechomedina umedina galui lechol hamim liyodatidim liyomaze haratzim yatze utechufim bidvar melech vehadat nitna bishushan habira vehamelech vehaman. Yashvulish tot veha ir shushan nahavo ha. Gorgeous. Cantor Audrey Abrams, everybody. That was amazing. Um, well, so now we're at the part of the Megillah. I'm wearing a hat. That's pretty much my third and final thing. This is what I always used to dress up as when I was in school. I went to school. We had to wear skirts. I'm like, I'll wear a baseball hat and a jersey. I'm not an athlete, but I always dressed up as an athlete because that was what I wanted to be. I am a terrible athlete, very bad at sports. I feel like I'm the worst kind of bad at sports for what it's worth because I look like I might be good at sports. So what happens is I will get drafted for teams for sports and then kicked off of those teams once everybody learns that I have no clue how to sports. Like I was on a basketball team. I got the ball one time the entire season, which I think we can agree was an error. So I'm holding this mistake ball in my hands, not knowing what to do with it until I'm like, oh, I know I will pass this ball to the referee. But on Purim, I could be the athlete that I always desired and thought that I was and arguably looked like I was. I don't know if I look like an athlete anymore. You can't really see me. Does it matter? I have no idea. But in this parak, we have a lot of talk of Haman. Boo! And as a comedian, I just think of that because yes, the Glazers, uh, maybe we're related, Simon Glazer and, and co. Um, yup, I see you, booing, <laughs> that's great. Um, but as a comedian, booing is pretty scary and bombing is pretty scary. And honestly, I think for even in shul, you know, cantors, rabbis, my wife is a rabbi. I mentioned that a little bit before. And so we think about that, by the way, a, a rabbi and a stand-up comedian married to each other, pretty safe to assume at any moment, one of us is in the middle of a big, long speech. But anyway, so it's the kind of thing where, you know, if I don't land a joke, and it's a room where everyone's not muted. Now I can kind of lie to myself. Oh, they love it. They're laughing. But in a, in a comedy club, it's harder. And sometimes you bomb. You don't do well. And honestly, one time I bombed so bad. It was like just the worst. It was honestly like a group of nobody was Jewish in the entire room. And I really wanted it to go well, which of course is always an, a, a 
situation where it doesn't go well. It was like the basketball game. Like I just wanted to get a ball into the hoop. I wanted the jokes to land. They just weren't. It was awful. And in the middle of my set, that's not going, oh, the reason it mattered that they weren't Jewish is because I'm like, oh, a bunch of Catholic people, they for sure will need to know the intricate differences between Reconstructionist, Reform, Conservative, Orthodox, and Modern Orthodox Jews. And they were like, okay. Um, they also spoke Spanish. So anyway, it was awful. It was going nowhere. And in the middle of this set, this like TED talk that nobody asked for, someone's phone accidentally heckled me. So someone's Siri on their phone goes off unprompted and said, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. And that got the biggest laugh of the entire night. Um, so it was a win in some ways. Um, but anyway, now the reason I was talking about my wife is as, as a clergy person, as a speaker of any kind, you know, you do want to connect, I think, with the audience. And in comedy, that means laughter. And sometimes as a rabbi, it means laughter. And my wife is funny and she'll make jokes, as I imagine your rabbis make jokes and teachers make jokes and cantors make jokes. And the thing is, my wife has a safe for any time a joke doesn't land that I wish I could steal, which is, you know, if she says a joke, nobody's laughing. She's just like, looks to her right and her left. And then she's like, and together we say, amen. And that's what I want to steal. But we're booing tonight. We all know why. And we're going to keep it going with Perak Dala, chapter four. We've got the amazing, I'm going to turn it over in a second. We can queue up, yeah, the screen, read by Dr. Jim Buckstein. O Mordechai, ya da kwala sher na sa, ba ikra Mordechai et begadana, ba yil vash sa kwa efer, ba yitze betoch ahir, ba yizak, zeak ha Umara. Vayavo ad lifnei shar melech ki ein lavo el shar melech vilvush sak v'lecham edina medina mekom asher devar melech v'dato magia. Evel gadol ayhudim v'tzomuchi u'misped sakva hefer yutzal arabim matavo na na rotes tervas arise havaya gidula v'tit chal chal malka meod v'tishlak begadim lehalbi shet mordechai ol hasir sako meala velo kibel v'tikra eser lahatach misari se hamelech asher hemi levaneha v'tizavehu amordechai ladat mazeh ve'al mazeh I say, Hatah, El Mordechai, El Rehov, Ha'ir, Asher, Lifnei Shar HaMelech, Vayaged Lo Mordechai, Ey, Kol Asher Karahu Ve'ed, Parashat HaKesef, Asher Amar Shetai. Ah, Lishko, Al Ginze HaMelech, Bayhudim Le'abadam, Et pachegen ketav hadat, asher nitan b'shushan lahashmidam natan lo. Va... Leharot. Leharot et ester, ol hagila, ol tzavod aleha, lavo el hamelech, el melech lehitchanen lo, vakesh milfanav alama. Vayavo hatach, vayagid ester, ey, divrei Mordechai, vatomer ester la hatach, vatisavehu el Mordechai, kol avdei hamelech ve'am, medinot hamelech yodim, asher kol ish ve'isha, asher yavo el hamelech, El hechatzer hapnimit asher lo ikare 
achatato lehamit levad me asher yoshid lo hamelech et sharvit zahav echaya vani lo nikreti lavo lamelech zesh lo shim yom vayagid el mordechai et ivrei aster vayomer mordechai lahashiv el aster Al tida mi ben af sheikh li him alet bet dam melech mi kol ha yehudim ki im ha charesh tacharei shiva et hazot revach vehatzala yamol ha yehudim mi markom acher veatu veitavir tovedu. ומי יודע אם לעת כזאת הגעת למלכות. ויאמר אסתר להשיב אל מרדכי, לך כנושא כל היהודים המנמצאים בשושן, וצומו עליי. ואל תאכלו ואל תשתו שלושת ימים לילה ויום גם אני ונערותיי עצום כן וכן נבוא למלך אשר לא חדת וכאשר עבדתי עבדתי ויעבור מרדכי ויעש ככל אשר ציוותה עליו אסתר. That was great. Dr. Jim Buckstein, amazing. Um, so here, uh, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of messages, a lot of summoning that goes on um, in the Megillah and, you know, we talked about emails and I just want to focus for a moment and this will be the last time you'll hear from me, just logistics at the top. Um, I'm going to just do a couple minutes and then we're going to hear Parak 5 and then there's going to be a, um, a uh, parade. Um, so just to give you a sense of the timing, but in any event, messages. So we talked about emails before. As I said, I really stand by it. I love all my emails, but honestly, I also love my voicemails, okay? And I just have a question about voicemails, okay? Is how come my phone, my cell phone, this one device that seems to be able to hold like nine feature films, you know, a burst of a subway seat that's like 322 pictures, I cannot delete for the life of me, didn't even mean to take them sometime in 2007. And it's, that's all fine, but the second that there's like a more than a minute and a half of voicemail total on my entire phone, it's like, I'm full. I couldn't possibly, as my phone holds, a single more second of voicemail. I just don't understand it because, I mean, it really comes from love, okay? And I get in, in the Megillah, just like all these messages, they're trying to keep track of them. You know, it's like when I was a lawyer, I feel like I was CC'd on all these emails. I didn't understand. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. But the thing is about voicemails is like, if somebody, like if one of you were to leave me a voicemail, that's a moment in time that you communicated to me. And I want to save that forever if I can. And it's not just loved ones, right? We can imagine maybe you want to save those voicemails, but also here's something that happened to me. I, I happen to have a very old car, okay? I don't mean to brag. It's like a hundred years old. It has key marks all over it. It's snot green. Everything's breaking. Like every day is a bracha with this car. I mean, it's going to die tomorrow. And it actually, it's like one of those cars where you put the key in the car, which like now, I don't understand how now you pay more for a car. And it's like for the, the idea that you know, it's like now the, the key is like the, a theoretical construct for the car. It's like as long as there's the idea of the key somewhere, then it's fine. This is old, okay? And I, I had the car in Plymouth, Massachusetts, okay? And it didn't start. 
which happens when you have a hundred year old car. And so that caused me to have to go into a transactional relationship with an auto body shop, specifically Barbara Geller's auto body shop in Plymouth, Massachusetts, so that she could diagnose that my car wouldn't start and it needed a starter, which led her to leave a voicemail that said, hi Liz, it's Barbara Geller from Geller Auto Body Shop. Your car won't start, it needs a starter. And do you think that the not a day goes by that I do not miss this voicemail that I had to delete so like someone from my AA meeting can leave their entire seven step. I don't even know what I'm saving the room for on my voicemail, but nevertheless, I miss it. And I get there's a lot of messages in the Megillah and there's a lot that you guys are gonna hear more of tonight. And I'm so excited to introduce the, the reader, the Chazen for Perak Hay, chapter five, Let's give it up for the amazing Sherwood Malamud. All right. <laughs> Valtil bash Esther Mahut, Vatamot, Bachatzar beta melech apni meat, no chach beta melech, Yamelech, Yo shave, Alki say Mahut of beta Mahut, no chach beta kabai, Vai he, Kiro tamelech, et Esther Malka. O medet bechatzer, nasachain v'einav, v'yoshet ha-melech, et sharvit ha-zahav, asher v'yadom, v'titrav ester, v'tiga berosh ha-sharvit, v'yomer lav, Hamelech, Malach, Esther, Hamalka, Uma Bakashatech, Archatsi Hamachut, Veyina Tenlach, Vatomer Esther, Im Alamelachto, Yavau Hamelech, Vehaman, Ayom Elamishte. Asher asiti lo, vayomer amelech, maharu et haman, lasot et var ester, vayavaho hamelech vehaman. El hamishte asher asta ester, um Vayomera Melech Lester Bemishte Ayayin Mashelatech Vayina Tenlach Uma Bakashatech Archatia Mahut Veteas Vatan Esther Vatomar Shelati Vakashati Ematsati Hang Mainam <laughs> Vayetzei haman bayom ahu Sameach v'tov lev v'chirav Haman, haman et marchai v'shar ha-mel V'lo kam v'lo zom imenu v'yimalei haman Al Mordechai Chema Vaitapak Haman 
Vayavo el beto vayishlach vayaveto vav vietzeresh ishto vayisaper lahem hamav et vodo shro v'rov banav the the et kol asher gidlo hamelech ואת אשר נישאו על השרים ועבדי המלך. ויאמר המן, אף לא הביאה אסתר המלכה עם המלך אל המשתה אשר עשת כי אם אותי וגם למחר אני קראו לה עם המלך וכל זה איננו שובר לי בכל עת אשר אני רואה את מלך היהודי יושב בשער המלך ותאמר לו זרש אשתו וכל עבר יעשו עץ גבוה חמישים אמה ובבוקר אמור למלך ויתלו את מרדכי עליו ובאו עם המלך אל המשתה שמח ויטב הדבר לפני המן ויעש העץ. Oh, I'd love to see a parade now. was a swinging babe, she was a bundle of dynamite. All of Persia knew her escapades, how she loved to stay out all night. But when her husband said, come down to dine, bring your appetite, but leave your clothes behind. That's where Vashti drew the line, Vashti was right. Vashti was right, Vashti was right. She was nobody's fool by the pale moonlight, Vashti was right. He said, although I may be soft, I can tell this company, my wife's a beaut, she's really cute, and she's coming here in her birthday suit, bang the drum and sound the flute, Vashti tonight, Vashti tonight, Vashti tonight, she was nobody's fool by the pale moonlight, Vashti Race to the queen where he announced the king's command. Our heroine surveyed the scene before she raised her royal hand. She said, I enjoy festivity, but that's beneath my dignity. Tell that creep he can come to me. Vashti was right. Vashti was right. Vashti was right. She was not only pretty, but very bright. Vashti was right. Veroz blew his top, the rest is ancient history. He settled down with a Jewish girl and was happy as could be. But some nights when he came down to dine, and it looked like he'd had too much wine, Esther spoke this simple line. Everybody? Vashti was right. Vashti was right. Vashti was right. She was nobody's fool by the pale moonlight. Vashti was right. Vashti was right. Vashti was right. She was nobody's fool by the pale moonlight. Vashti was Esther baby, 
listen to your cousin Mordechai. I mean, listen, baby. Your cousin Mordechai knows what's going down. You've got the prettiest shoulders in the kingdom. Prettier than an Arby's super roast beef with horsey sauce. Prettier than Diana Ross in a convertible with her hair blown back in the breeze. Prettier than Michael Jackson with his... What's your point, Mort? And on those shoulders, baby, rest the fate of the Jewish people. Haman's gonna kill us, baby. And only you can save your tribe. You're just one Jew and you may think you can run. You may think you can hide, but you're the queen, baby. And maybe, just maybe, baby, this is why you're the queen, because Sings. Come on, everyone. No Jew is an island. No Jew is an island. No Jew stands alone. No Jew stands alone. Jews are more like a cruise ship. Jews are more like a cruise ship. Or a cellular phone. Or a cellular phone. Jews are like a great river. Jews are like Nostalgia of all those songs. Oh, Ketter Shrag, are you here? That was amazing. <laughs> and speaking of being here, Mike Kaplan has now arrived, and Liz is turning over the reins of comedy to Mike to begin and help us with our next parrot and the rest of the evening. So take it away, Mike. Hello, I'm here. I'm I'm not gonna take it away anywhere. I don't know. I hear him sort of. Hey, everybody. I'm now talking more directly into a microphone. That'll do it. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Mike Kaplan. Liz is my friend. So any goodwill that was established by Liz, please uh, pay that forward and apply it to me. Any extra happiness that uh, that Liz made you feel, uh, it's here. Like, imagine, I know uh, this is this is actually my first Purim uh, performance like this, or Purim formance, I guess I would say, and uh, and so when I when I joined and I watched uh, Liz's segments, uh, when I heard people reading, uh, it, at first I forgot why people were making noise and yelling boo, and then I remembered, and that made me feel a lot uh, a lot safer and happier, uh, because so I'm I'm gonna. If ever, if I ever need to say the word that would make you make a lot of noise, I might just say Voldemort, or I might just say, "Hey, man!" Like that's that's got to be okay, right? You can, hey, like how much pause does there have to be between the hey 
and the man for people. Oh, hey, people are booing. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand it. Booing the spirit of the law rather than the letter of the law. I'm trying to escape it. But uh, I appreciate it. So I feel like I want it to be, I want to, anytime I want you to, uh, if, if not out loud, ment mentally at least, spiritually, within yourself, cheer, I would like for the reverse of the Voldemort situation to be whenever I re-evoke Liz. I'm like, what a wonderful job Liz did. Let, so please have uh, some, yes, uh, hands in the air, visual <laughs> noise, uh, emoji reactions, if you wish. There's uh, clapping. She's not here. She can't see it anymore. She had to go to another temple, uh, like, like at the end of Super Mario Brothers, uh, when you saved a princess at the end of each level, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, your Purim is in another temple. But uh, I am happy to be here uh, doing my best to fill these big uh, foot. I, I almost I always get footsteps and footprints and shoes, whatever it is. Uh, she left a large non carbon footprint, a great, a great shoe to to wear that I'm going to try to not issue. And uh, before before I I'm going to I'm going to be here in between all of the things. And right now I'm uh, looking to see the next uh, human being who will be reading uh, and rejoicing with us uh, coming to the coming to the stage. That's the way I host as a comedian. Coming to the screen right now, I believe, will be Dan Weiss. And then I'll be back. So welcome, Dan. Thanks, Mike. Chapter six. Zeresh, 
אשתו. אם מזרע יהודים מרדכי אשר, אחי לא תלום כל אבריו ותוכל לו כי נבוא תיפול לפניו. אותם מדברים עמו ושרי שי המלך הגיעו ויביאו להביא את המן. אל המשתה אשר עשתה אסתר. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, I just to, to let everyone in on this, I am I am Jewish, uh, but I, I don't I'm sure that you're familiar. Like I perform for a lot of non-Jews uh, over the course of my many. I've actually been doing comedy for about high years. And uh, that's how Jewish I am, is I know that one Jewish word uh, that I've been doing. I've been doing comedy for my entire high, uh, just 18 years. I'm 18 years old. And uh, I, I, you may know this, but I have to explain to other audiences sometimes that uh, there's different levels of Judaism, different types of Judaism, different uh, intensities and genres of Judaism. Uh, for example, there's, of course, Orthodox Jews, then there are conservative Jews, and then there's the kind of Jew that I am, which is not very Jews. I am a, I'm a I, but certainly, as a not very Jewish, I am much more Jewish than anyone who's not Jewish. So it's, uh, I'm infinitely more than zero. Uh, I've done the math. I was a math minor. I went to Brandeis. That's how Jewish I am. And so I've re-familiarized myself with the, uh, the Purim story that we're, we're all hearing right now. And uh, it's exciting. So a, a couple of key points from what we just heard. Uh, I liked that uh, it said that night the king's sleep was disturbed like just that night i mean a guy who can sleep through most of the nights it makes sense but now he's finally waking up which makes sense because waking ends with king so get into it king you're now the waking uh i like that when mordechai informed uh they made it sound like he's a snitch even when he's doing like the right kind thing helping save lives they're like this guy's telling on people he's our guy who tells on people he's a nice man but he's informing on them get him into jewish witness protection uh, I like that. What what splendor and honor has been accorded to Mordechai for this? It's like, who's responsible for not according him any splendor and honor? Why didn't anyone read my mind? That's my impression of the king. Pretty good impression, I hope. Uh, I like then my, my favorite when Voldemort comes in and says, uh, like, when he's what, what should be done for a man who the king wishes to honor? And he's like, ah, who, who does he want to honor? Me, I guess. I feel like this is like sitcom level misunderstanding where he's like, oh, yeah. And then he's eventually hoisted by his own petard, which if you're familiar, that means you're being exploded by your own bomb. But in this case, it's actually a nicer uh, opposite version of that because he's not negatively impacted by his own bomb. He's actually somebody else is helped by his own. So basically, he's up lifting Mordechai. Mordechai is being hoisted by Voldemort's own balm. That's what I would say. Uh, the petard is a balm this time, turns out. The balm.com, if you will. Uh, if you wish. You don't have to. And uh, I guess uh, my, my last favorite part, uh, I like that that Voldemort has wise men, uh, but is it, are they wise, like in that they advise him? Do they add wise to him? Do they advise him to be less like himself or are they just like, yes, men, they're like wise. They're like, we know where our bread is buttered. Uh, we're gonna just tell him the things that, that's how wise they are. They don't share that wisdom with him. They only use it for themselves. Uh, and I, I like how the chapter ends. While they, were while they were still talking with him, the chamberlains of the king arrived and they rushed to bring Voldemort to the feast that Esther had prepared. They're like, no time to talk about my downfall now. It's dinner, the most Jewish thing that there is. So uh, look, if you like dinner, you're Jewish. Uh, and uh, that is my, that's my assessment of everything that we have just heard. And for chapter seven, we're now going to, uh, to hear from Jenny. Jenny Hage, I hope I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Jenny, everyone. All right, ready? I have Ohamelech, my Haman. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Mashlate, 
Vima Hamela Tov, Tina Tenlina Shi, Bishela T, Viami, Bakashati, Kinin Karnuani, Viami, the Hashmi, the Haragula Bay, Vilu, the Vimo Sakot, Nim Karnu Heharashi, Kina Tar, Shabban Ezek Hamela, Vayomer Hamel Hasherosh, Vayomer Lester Hamaka, Mihuza, Vezahu, Ashermala, Olibo La Soke. But tomorrow, Esther, each star Nehaman, <laughs> <laughs> Gam in a head, a share of a man. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny and team. Uh, I love I love when Voldemort is embarrassed. His face is covered. He covers. He's like, boy, is my face covered, which makes sense because that's where my face is red comes from, because red are the last three letters of covered. Uh, I like I like that uh, the king is offering. He's like, I'll give you anything, even if it's half my kingdom. He's like, like, don't divorce me. Like, don't divorce me and take half my kingdom. I'll give you half my kingdom to begin with. And uh, and Voldemort shuddered. And that's right. He should shudder. You should have shuddered. And uh, I'm going to shut this one down now. It's going to be shuddered, shuddered. Uh, the I like that <laughs> the king's hostility towards him was irrevocable and like, I, this is just me. I am I wasn't alive in this time period, but maybe if everything wasn't punishable by death, then people could have had a more reasonable back and forth. Uh, just an idea. Uh, I like that we're, we've headed in this direction now. Uh, I like that there was a wine feast chamber. I would like a wine feast chamber. I don't even drink, uh, but it sounds nice. So I'm going to start calling my dining room the feast chamber. And by dining room, I mean the one room in my one bedroom apartment that is not the kitchen, not the bathroom, and not the bedroom. It does seem like there are actually a lot more rooms in my bedroom, but I'm, I'm actually sitting in the feast chamber right now, making a meal of this situation. Uh, I like, uh, and so when they finally did hang him on the gallows that he'd prepared, uh, and the king's wrath abated, this definitely is a, more, a hoisting on his own petard. And I do understand that this is a victory in the story, uh, and the king's wrath is abated, but I, I guess I I do wish that there were different kinds of wrath management available back then. That's the uh, the only that's I feel like I'm going to bring the concept of wrath management forward. And I'm grateful to have had this opportunity to offer it here. Uh, and that is the end of chapter seven. Uh, so we're going to move on to chapter eight. And uh, I apologize. Uh, I'm going to say your last name all the ways possible. We're going to hear from Danny Levy, 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 uh, Levi. Whoa. You're close. Danny, everybody. Levy. Danny Levy. <laughs> we all ready? I got to find my place. Excuse me, I lost my... Mahu 
אשר האוויר מהמען. וייתן על מרדכי ותעש המסר את מרדכי על בית המען. ותעש המסר ותדבר לפני המלך ותהיו לפני רגליו ותתכנן לו להעביר את רעת המן הגאי. אין מחשב כהו אשר חשב על היהודים ויושב המלך לאסתר אית שביל זהב ותעום אסתר ותעמוד לפני המלך ותאמר אם על המלך טוב ואם מצאתי אין לפניו וכאשר הדבר לפני המלך וטובה אני בעיניו, ייכתב לך שיר את הספרים, החשב את המן. בן המנידה האגני, אשר כתב הבן את היהודים, אשר בכל מיני נות המלך, כי איך אוכל וראי ברעה. אשר יישא את עמי, ואיך אכל וראיתי בעובדן מולדתי, ויאמר המלך אחשוורוש לאסתר המלכה, ומרדכי היהודים, הנה בית המן. נתתי לאסתר, ואותו תלו על העת, אשר שלח ידו ביהודים, ואתם גידבו על היהודים, כתוב בעיניכם בשם המלך, וכתמוה בטבעת המלך, כי כתב אשר נכתב בשם המלך, ונכתוב בטבעת המלך, אין לך שיב, ויקראו סוברי המלך, בעת ההיא, בעת ההיא, בחודש השלישי הוא חודש סיוון. שלושה ועשרים בו, ויכתב כל אשר ציווה מרדכי על היהודים ואל אשתר פנים, והפחות ושרי המדינות אשר מחודו ועד כוס. שבע ועשרים ומאה מדינה, מדינה ומדינה ככתבה, ועם ועם כלשונו. ואל היהודים ככתבה וכלשונם, ויכתוב בשם המלך אשדרות, ויכתוב בטבעת המלך, וישלס ספרים ביד, הרצים בסוסים, רוכבי הרכש, האשכרנים, בני הרמחים, אשר נתן המלך ליהודים, אשר בכל עיר ועיר. להיקהל ולעמוד על נפשם להשמיד ולהרוג ולאבד את כל חיל העם ומדינה הצרים אותם תפנסים ושללם לבוז ביום אחד בכל מדינות המלך אשוורוש בשלושה עשר לחודש שנים עשר וחודש אדר בת שגד הכתב להינתן דעת בכל מדינה ומדינה גלוי לכל העמים להיות היהודים עתידים ליום הזה להינקם היו יביכם הרצים רוכבי הרכש השטרניים יצאו מבוהלים ודחופים דיבר המלך והדת נתנה בשושן הבירה ומרדכי יצא לבני המלך בלבוש מלכות תחלת בחור ותרד זהב גדולה ותכריך פוץ וארגמן ועיר שושן צהלה ושמחה ליהודים הייתה רב ושמחה וששון ועיקר. ומרדכי יצא מלפני בלבוש המלך בלבוש מלכות תחלת בחור ותרד זהב גדולה ותכריך פוץ וארגמן בעיר שושן צהלה ושמח ליהודים הייתה אורה ושמחה וששון 
Thank you, David Levy. Levy, Danny. everyone. Danny. Dan oh, sorry. Oh, I got I got your last name that part. That time I didn't get the version. Danny no, you didn't Levy, get the everyone. Last name right either. In New uh, York, it's Levy. <laughs> oh, okay. This uh, was Levy. <laughs> Danny Levy. Levy. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you for not levying a tax on me for that. <laughs> uh, I appreciate I, I it. Then you did uh, miss that, a good heckle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. In this, we saw, of course, uh, Esther put Mordecai in charge of Voldemort's estate. So all's well that ends well, except for everyone who is dead. Uh, we get to meet the son of Voldemort, whose name looks like Ham Data, which seems like a lot of information on food that we don't eat, which makes a lot of sense why the villain uh, is the Ham Man. So uh, I like... Uh, I like that we learn that the the Jews are victorious in this. Uh, the the Jews are saved. Uh, so now the the real the the decrees can be made in the king's name, sealed with the king's signet ring. Glad that the original uh, rules that went out in his name, I guess, weren't written with that ring. But uh, then the king allowed all the Jews of every city to gather and stand up for their lives, which I like, and then to annihilate, kill, and destroy every army of any nation uh, or province that might attack them, including women and children. And uh, I guess I feel like that's kind of a, maybe like an Old Testament overreaction. Uh, anyone that might attack them. I'm glad that I feel like we're in a little more diplomatic times these days. But I, I do like that historically we've got uh, these two lines a couple lines apart. So the Jews would be ready for that day to take revenge upon their enemies. For the Jews, there was light and happiness, joy and prestige. Joy and readiness for revenge, a match made in heaven. Uh, and of course, ending with the, the classic tale that we know, the and they all lived happily ever after, and many of the Gentiles converted to Judaism for fear of the Jews had fallen upon them. That's what I'm talking about. We, we don't get the respect we deserve these days like we did back then, but uh, pretty soon people will fear our wrath unless we go to wrath management classes. So uh, it is now time. Uh, that was chapter eight, and I believe we're going to have nine and 10 together uh, with Dr. David Estrin. So please welcome Dr. David, everyone. And before I begin, I want to thank uh, Rabbi Davis for oh, arranging. So you don't have to hear him. For people that do not have their own, I don't have my own. I want to thank Sal Mashar for joining me his. Uvishushan, Uvishnaim, Asar, Chodesh, Uchodesh Adar, Vishlosha, Asar Yombo, Asher Higi, Adavar Hamelech, Vedato, Hesod, Bayo, Asher, Sibaru. Oy ve ha yudim li shlot ba hem ve na fo hu ha sher yishletu ha yudim hem ha besone hem nigalu ha yudim ve are hem ve chom eni nora mel ha chash ve rosh li shloak ya bim vakshe ra atam the Ishloam at Leaf Nehem, Kinaf al Pakdam, al Kohamim, the Hosa Re, Hamini Nod, Vea Hashdar Penim, the Hapachot, Vea Se Hamlacha Asher la Melech, Menasim et Ayudim, Kinaf al Pachad Mordechai Alem, Kigado Mordechai Bevet Hamelech, Feshomo, Lech Behomini Nod, Kia Ish Mordechai Holek, the Gadol. Vayaku hayudim bechol oi vehem, makat cher veher veavdan, vaya asu vesonehem kiritsonam, hu shushan habira, haragu hayudim veabed, hamesh meaoti shve pashandara ve delfon ve despada ve parada ve dali ve deri dada ve parmashta ve deri sai ve deri dai ve faisata aseret, bene haman. 
Ben Hamdak, Ha Tore Hayudim, Ha Ragu Uva Biza, Lo Shalhu et Yadam, Bayom Hahu, Ba Mithbar Arukim, Bishishana Bira, Lifne Amelech, La Yomer Hamelech, Lester Hamalka, Bishushan Habira, Hargu, Hayudim, Vea Beit Hamesh, Meot Ish, Veda Serpene Haman. Bishar mili not hamelak me asu uma shela take vaina ten lak uma bakasha take o vite as batomer steri malamelak tov in a ten gamachar la yudim asher bashushan la sok dat hayom vet a serpene haman Alha eats, Vayomer Hamelak Lahes or Cain, Latina ten dot, Bishushan de eight, A serpene Haman, Kalu, Vaikalu, Hayudim Asher Bishushan, Gam, the Yom Arba Asar La Hodeshadar, Vay her Gubishushan, Shaloshmeo, Ish, Uva Biza, Loshalahu et Yadam. Ushar Hayudim Asher Bimino Tamelat Nikalu Vyam Odal Napsham Venoach me Ovehem Viharo Visonehem Hamishavashivim Aleph Uva Biza Loshalahu et Yadam Vayom Shloshasar Lachodashadar Venoach Barba Asarbo Vaso Oto Yom Ishtavasim Ha the Hayudim Asher Bashushan, Nikalu Bishosha Asarbo, Uvarba Asarbo, Vino Achbachamisha Asarbo, Vaso Oto, Yomish Devasim Ha, Alkain Hayudim Ha Prazim, Hayashvim, Vare Ha Prazot, Osim, Et Yom Arba Asar, Lachodeshadar, Simcha Mishtel, the Yom Tov, Mishloch Manot, Ishlerehu, by Tom Mordechai, Eta de Verim, Aela, by Schlatz Farim, Elko Ayudim, Asher Bahomani Nodam El Hashve Rosh, Hakarovim, the Harakokim, Lekayem, Alehem, Liot Osim, Eight Yom Arba Asar Lachodeshadar, the Eight. Yom Hamisha Asar Bo, the Hoshana Vishana Kayamim Asher Nahu, by him, how you deem me or them, the Ahodesh Asher Nefakla, him, me a gongless him Yom Tov, La Asot O Tam, Yame Mishtava Simcha, Umishlot Manot Ishlorehu, Umatano, La Evionim. Viki Bel Hayudim, Eight Asher Echel Lassot, Veit Asher Katav Mardachai Alem, Ki Haman. Then Hamdata Hagagi, so rare call a Yudim, Hashaval Yudim, Abadam, Vihi Pil Pur Hu Hagoral, Lehumam Ul Abadam, Uvavo Alifne Hamelech, Amar Im Hasefer, Yashuv Machashav To Hara Asher Hashav Al Hayudim Al Rosho Vetaluoto Vepanav Al Haetz Al Kain Karu Layamim Hael Purim Al Shem Hapur Al Kain Al Kodivre Hayeret Hazot Umarau Al Kacha Umahia Alehem he moved, he blew a yudim, Alehem, Vel Zaram, the Al Kohan Yovim, Alehem, Veloya Avor, Leoto Sim, Echne, Hayamim, Haela, Kikavam, Hismanam, the Hoshana, Vishana, the Hayamim, Haela, Niskarim, Venasim, the Hodor Vador. Mishbacha, Mishbacha, Midina, Midina, Vir Vahir, Vime, Hapurim Hael, Lo Yavru Mitocha Yehudim, Nazikram, Lo Yasuv Mizaram, 
Vatikov, Esther Amaka, Varavi Chayil, Umorachai Hayudi, Kol Tokef, Lekayem, Edi Geret Hapurim, Hazod Hashenit, Vaishlak Svarim, El Koyudim, El Shevaves Rim, Humeha Medina, Malchut, Achashve Rosh, Divre Shalom, Vemet, Lekayem et yume hapurim ha ele bismanehem kasher hiam alehem marachai hayuti vester malka the kasher himu anafsham el zaram divre hatzomot vizakatam uma amar ester hiam divre hapurim ha ele Vinitav ba sefer ba yasem ha melech ha chashve rosh bas al haaretz v'ye ha yam the choma se tokpo ugurato ufarashat kedulat mordechai asher gidlo ha melech halohim kedufim al sefer divrei ha yamim lemalche madai ufaras gather. Ki Mordechai Hayehudi, Mishnela Melacha Hashvirosh, Begadol Lihudim, Viratsui Lerov, Echav, Doresh Tov, Liamo, Vidover Shalom, Lechol Zaro. Ki Mordechai Hayudi, Mishnela Melacha Hashvirosh, Begadol Lihudim, Viratsui Lerov, Echav, Doresh Tov, Liamo, Vidover Shalom, Lechol Zaro. Baruch HaTadonah Eloheinu Melech HaLam HaRavet Riveinu VeHadan Etineinu VeHanokeim Et Nikmatenu VeHamashalem Dumu Lechol Avei Nafshenu VeHanifra Lanu Mitzareinu Baruch HaTadonah Hanifra Leamo Yisrael Mikol Tzareihem HaEl HaMoshiach Thank you very much, Dr. David Estrin. Uh, that is uh, the conclusion, the stunning conclusion, uh, surprising everyone. Uh, I like that uh, the Jews dominated their enemies, a topsy-turvy world. Uh, and a little bit, uh, I, st I still need to learn a little more because I, I read that uh, and I heard that no man stood in their way for fear of them had fall upon all the nations. And then it said that the Jews struck at all their enemies and killing and destroying them but it, no man had stood in their way. So was it women, children, non-binary soldiers? Uh, and then it said they killed and destroyed 500 men. And I'm like, okay, so that was men. Uh, and they killed, but didn't take the spoils because uh, you don't want to spoil your appetite. You don't want to spoil your appetite with spoils. I have no appetite for spoils, spoiler alert. Uh, and then eventually there were 75,000 killed, which is a lot more like more purge than Purim, I guess, for words that start with P-U-R and end in two other letters. But uh, then there's days of feasting, rejoicing, sending food portions one to another, giving gifts to the poor. Now we're talking, though I, I also don't understand why they're sending food to one another. Like you send me food, I send you food. It is very friendly. It's nice. I know there's a a sort of a, a, a superstition to not pour tea for yourself, always pour tea for your friends and have your friends pour tea for you. So I guess that's like this as well. You give me food, I give you food. We're all giving and getting food. And uh, I like, uh, I learned that poor may, means a lot because uh, it is a lot, 75,000 dead, that is a lot. It's a lot. And, uh, and then it seems like chapter 10 was just kind of an epilogue after the credits or like telling you where the characters are now. I do like that there was some foreshadowing earlier with Danny Levy when uh, King Ahasuerus levied attacks upon the mainland and the islands of the sea. Was that an important part of the story? It is now to our experience tonight. Uh, thank you, Mr. Levy, for uh, forgiving me for my uh, transgressions. I'll get back to you next Yom Kippur as well. Uh, and I guess the only mystery is uh, at the end, what happened to Vashti? Coming soon, Purim 2, Vashti's Revenge. Uh, and 
that is that is all of my uh, comedy commentary for you this evening. My name is Mike Kaplan. Thank you so much for having me and Liz Glazer here. And I will turn it back over. Oh, one final point. I just love that the chat, if you only looked at the chat, if you weren't listening, if you weren't watching, you would think that people were having the worst time the whole time. Just boo, 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 until eventually, okay, please rise. Amen. So thank you to all the readers. Thank you to all the listeners. And uh, I'll turn it back over to whoever will speak next. Good up to uh, Mike and to Liz. Kolakavod for bringing such joy to our Purim this evening. We say kolakavod to our readers, uh, to Liz and to Jill, who are working very hard behind, behind the scenes to keep you all muted appropriately. Thank you all to our Megillah lenders and loaners. Thank you so much. And Rabbi Litsky is going to tell you about tomorrow's activities, the ongoing celebration of Forum. Tomorrow morning is 7 o'clock with more Megillah and Cantor Abrams' always famous terrible Forum jokes. I must admit, some of them are pretty funny, even though they're always a groaner. Uh, and after that, from 11 to 1, there's the drive up, pick up your Mishloach, my notes. We know so many of you participated in our new initiative this year. And of course, services tomorrow night at 545 for even more singing and a little bit more rest as opposed to tonight. With that, again, we thank Liz and Mike for joining us from all across the country. We went from one coast to another coast to meet us in the middle here in the Midwest. And of course, thank you and Yashikoach to Jody for the amazing video that kicked off our evening. Rabbi Davis, can I bring anything else? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end our evening. Not Yaakov. Yes, with Shoshana Yaakov, we're gonna dance our way out. So you ready? Everybody up and dancing. If it starts, hold on, give it a minute. I love this stuff. Go. Go. Not going anywhere. It's going. Go. This wait. Is the checkers game wait. Where you don't need this part. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping the ads. Here we go. Dancing. Shoshanat Yaakov, Tala Vesamecha, Birot and Yaha, Trilet Mordechai. Shoshanat Yaakov, Tala Vesamecha, Birot and Yaha, Trilet Mordechai. Shoshanat Yaakov, Tala Vesamecha, Birot and Yaha, Trilet Mordechai. Shoshanat Yaakov, Tala Vesamecha, Birot and Yaha, Trilet Mordechai.
I'll play you some outgoing music. <laughs> Good job, Ad. Excellent. What a fabulous party, the best of my life. Just one thing disturbs me. I banish my wife. I'm just playing some outgoing music here. Although I have noticed the palace is pleasantly quiet. After six months of drinking, you do a few things that maybe you shouldn't have done. Was it too high a price? Well, the party was nice, and kings just gotta have fun. Now I'm sitting alone with the biggest hangover the ancient world ever has seen. Oh, I'm really upset. I think I should get a new queen. <laughs> 